Dramatic twist in the Uttar Pradesh journalist Jagendra Singh's death case. The report submitted by the UP government in High Court says that he committed suicide. The forensic report says that the case doesn't seem to be homicidal but appears to be a case of suicide as burns have caused by a right-handed person because the right side is less affected. Well, this is appalling where the Uttar Pradesh government already has proclaimed that this is a suicide, not murder, not even willing to investigate murder charge. I want to cut across back to Amir Haq. He's with us. He's been tracking the story very closely where this incident took place in Shah Jahanpur in Uttar Pradesh. You know, Amir, it is appalling because here you have a government which is even refusing to investigate a case of murder at the onset stating that it should be ruled out as suicide and nothing else. Well, absolutely, Preeti. And this was something uh, that was being discussed from day one, uh, that the police, that the government will have it uh, its own way. And now since the Forensic Science Laboratory uh, report is out, uh, it has made it very clear uh, that the police has tried to prove what it was trying to prove from day one, that Jagendra Singh was not murdered. In fact, it was a case of suicide. Uh, what is appalling, though, is that, uh, you know, uh, the Forensic Science Laboratory has given a detailed report of how uh, a person, a right-handed person, uh, who uh, uh, who could have, uh, who wanted to commit suicide, uh, could not cause enough uh, burn injuries on his right side of the body and the right hand. And therefore, since most uh, deep burn injuries have been caused to the left side of the body, it is therefore inferred uh, that he had uh, that can of petrol in his uh, right hand and that he committed suicide and self-immolation. The sad part, therefore, is uh, that, the pa that the family of Jagen Singh is also, uh, also seems to be quiet right now because it, it was just two days back that they came uh, here to Lucknow to meet up with the Chief Minister Akhilesh Shadav. They were offered an assistance and compensation of 30 lakh. Right. Uh, well, they took this uh, this compensation. Also, a government... But it doesn't matter, you know, Amir, because if you look at Prima Fisai, it doesn't matter what the family says now because in exactly four days ago, they were stating that they were being threatened. Away from the what the family response is, there are clear indications where this case is concerned. There are red flags which need to be investigated on what exactly transpired. Well, absolutely, yes. Uh, the dying declaration of Jagendra yes. Singh still stands, and uh, uh, you know, and it's evidence. Quite, a dying declaration uh, is evidence, is isn't it, uh, Amir? Well, yes, absolutely, and uh, uh, this part is what is very questionable because the entire stand that has been put forward uh, by the state government in the court, uh, there is no mention of that uh, dying declaration, which perhaps. Uh, the prosecution will take up at a later stage. Also, since a different PIL has uh, uh, has been admitted in the Supreme Court, which has, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court has given a two weeks uh, time for the state government to file a formal reply in this matter. Uh, you know, the entire uh, uh, the entire matter uh, concerning Jagendra Singh, for the time being, it seems uh, for the state government has been brushed under the carpet because uh, for now things seem to be ha to have been managed uh, the way uh, uh, they actually wanted it to be. Well, you know, appreciate you joining us, Amir, but we're not going to let the story go. We're going to keep tracking the latest details. There's been a...